All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechak Rash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. Also, I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and great millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also, want to send out a heart of Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waking up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see on the screen, the title of this lesson is um, Individuality. Okay individuality okay and as we can see here the definition uh, it says the quality or character of a particular person or thing that distinguishes them from others of the same kind especially when strongly marked okay so um, you know the, the, the basis of this lesson is to go in uh, to the fact that, you know, although we're a part of a body, okay, which makes up the body of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, that temple that the scriptures speak about, okay, uh, we are required to have a level of individuality about ourselves, okay? And um, it's a process, you know, it's a maturation of you coming into this truth, okay, uh, being a babe in this thing, and, um, you know, Initially, <laughs> we all were uh, mockingbirds or parrots at one at one particular time, okay? But what happens over uh, the test of time, okay, is that you become, uh, to come into your own, you become to develop uh, your own individuality or your character, okay, that distinguishes you, distinguishes you from others, okay? Now, as the scriptures say, there's one body, one mind, you know, one spirit. Um, but nonetheless, okay, as the scriptures speak about, uh, you know, us, you know, being, uh, you know, a, you know, a part of the temple, okay, and um, you know what we like to say is a be be a brick, you know, because the temple is being built, okay, uh, as our Lord Yahweh Shah said it would be. And uh, this is a spiritual temple, okay? And for everything to fit firmly, okay, everybody has to be an individual, you know? Everybody has to uh, conform unto the gifts that the Heavenly Father has given them, okay? That uh, that parrot mind state or just mocking what you, you, you hear the elder apostles or other brothers say, okay, it, it's cool, you know? But like I said, there's a maturation period and, and eventually you have to come into your own. Okay. Why? Because the ministry needs it. You know, there are different gifts. And uh, every brother's gift in his ministry is, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's significant. Okay. And uh, distinguished, like the definition says. Let's read it again. Individuality means the quality or character of a particular person or a thing that distinguishes them from others of the same kind, especially when strongly marked, right? Okay, so eventually, walking in this ministry, you have to develop your own traits, your own attributes, your own spirit. Well, obviously, the Heavenly Father uh, is the one that gives, is the Father of spirits, okay? But your characteristics, your mannerisms, and ultimately your contribution to the body, okay? eventually the the you the real you okay that's being chastened by the heavenly father that has been called into this glorious ministry okay it has to shine you know and you know lord willing will the elect um you know the, the heavenly father's gonna put you on that path and uh you're gonna go through you're gonna catch your certain hails that you know other brothers that are specific to you okay i'll say that uh uh on that behalf, you know, because we are catching hell, but you know, our hills are significant for us, okay? And and uh, you know, 
for lack of better words, uh, particular, particular until you, okay? <laughs> you know, but hey, at the end of the day, we, uh, we complain unto the Lord, not one to another, okay? Because we're all going through it, okay? But that's what builds that individuality, okay? You're actually going through things, okay? And, uh, you know, basically using those testimonies of things that you've gone to, uh, and efforts of you know teaching okay being peculiar being set apart although we're part of one body okay and of one spirit right okay so um let's see i think i got this in the etym i got the etym online of this word as well okay and it says um uh, 16 10s the aggregate of one's idiosyncrasies okay uh, individual it says uh, meaning condition of existing as an individual okay so let's look up uh, these two words these million dollar words okay <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can click on it. Mm. Okay. The word aggregate means, uh, let's see. You saw with this foolery. Okay, aggregate. It says a whole formed by combining several typically disparate elements. Okay, the council is an example. The council was an aggregate of three regional assemblies. Okay, so when we go back. It says the aggregate, okay, of one's idiosyncrasies, right? So now let's look up idios idiosyncrasies. Idiosyncrasy, okay, it means. Uh, It says a mode of behavior or way of thought peculiar to an individual. Okay. So, you know, basically going into, you know, being an individual. Okay. Being separate, being peculiar. Although we walk the same walk. Okay. Although we're part of one body and we preach the same thing, you're still required to be an individual. Okay. So let's get uh, precepts to edify on that. Okay, and it's a process, you know. It, it ain't going to happen overnight, you know. But that has to be your mindset moving forward in this ministry. You have to be your own man. Okay, now obviously we have great examples with the elder apostles and the brothers on down. Okay, men, hey, uh, scripture speak about marking the perfect man. Okay, when you go into that word perfect, it means one with integrity. Okay, now obviously our Lord Yahweh Shai was the only man that was perfect that walked this earth. Okay, so when it's, it means mark the perfect man, okay, it's speaking of the men of integrity. Okay, the scriptures speak about, uh, you know, roughly paraphrasing, uh, standing in the council of the, uh, of the elders, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And, um, you know, but the reality is eventually you have to, you have to become your own, own man. Okay. For lack of better words, but this is Romans chapter 14, verse five. It says one man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day. It's like it every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. 
okay and that's the basis of this thing okay so before you even take the first step forward in this ministry you need to be fully persuaded in your own mind that this is the truth and this is the way okay because as the scriptures say the most high is not the author of confusion um, you know if there were multiple ways of obtaining salvation and mercy okay and grace from the heavenly father through his son then that would be confusion okay and then it'll be opinionated and <clears throat> who can be saved okay but the, the heavenly father through his son has always made a distinct way okay of repentance and coming back to the heavenly father and this is not something that needs to be uh theorized why because it's in the scriptures it says it verbatim okay we've been given the blueprint we've been given the instructions okay the, the guide on how to come back to the heavenly father and there's only one way okay the scriptures speak about coming up some other way which a lot of uh, uh, guys have done okay a lot of these pseudo israelite groups want to come up some other way they don't want to teach that this is all about the election okay they don't want to preach the name okay the scriptures speak about uh, uh praising his holy name and proclaiming it you know <clears throat> You have certain groups that don't do that, okay? Why? Because they're trying to come up some other way, okay? But there's only one way. Okay, I read that again, Romans 14 and 5. It says, one man esteemeth one day above another, another uh, esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, okay? Why? And perfect example is here, Great Millstone. There's nobody forcing you to come in or giving advertisements, come to our, you know, come to our Sabbath class, and, you know, uh, watch this breakdown, watch that. No, you just put it out, okay, like the scriptures uh, command us to do, okay, and if it resonates, because as the scriptures say, my sheep hear my voice, if it resonates, good, if it doesn't, good. Why? Because it all entails prophecy, okay? It all entails prophecy, whether they get it, whether they hear, or whether they forbear, okay? But the key point here is you need to be fully persuaded in your own mind. That is the, that is the preliminary status of coming into this ministry, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's get another piece up. Is, uh, where's Peter's? Chapter two. What I want, Salakia. Okay, and we'll start, uh, we'll start at two. Matter of fact, we'll start at the top. This is First Peter chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Wherefore, laying aside all manner, salaki all malice, and all guile, and hypocrisies, and envies, and all evil speakings, verse 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk. Okay. And, um, you know, it's cognizant of a newborn baby coming into the world. Okay. When they first come out, the, the first thing that they, uh, you know, require <laughs> is some breast milk. Okay. And the scriptures have been likened to the milk. Okay. Well, the, the core foundation and the core understanding. Okay. Of the scriptures is uh, referred to as the milk okay and that's what it is when you first coming into this thing you're a newborn babe as the scriptures say that you should you, you're supposed to be born again as the Lord told Nicodemus okay meaning what your mind has to be renewed you have to be as a babe right 
So it says, uh, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Okay. And just like a newborn child, that's pretty much until they develop teeth. Okay. And, you know, maybe one year old. Okay. Or, you know, or later, you know, whenever they develop teeth, they can't eat meat. Uh, eat meat. Okay. They're totally dependent on breast milk. Okay. But guess what? That is very essential. Okay. It's essential for the mother. Okay. It helps heal their womb. Okay. And the child, uh, uh, you know, grows exponentially, you know, just off of breast milk. And that's why Esau, this damn devil, has pushed the uh, vibration of baby formula. Okay. And, you know, I was guilty of it. I didn't know any better. Okay. But with my second child, you know, not not one drop of formula in, 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 in the amount of money you save from buying that madness and then just look at the name of it, baby formula. <laughs> formula. What formula? Right? So let's read this again. It says, as newborn babe desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Verse 3. If so be ye have tasted that Yahweh Shimei Shai is gracious. You see? So that's the foundation of this thing. Okay? You you come into this thing, and the meat will be required what? You know, the deep breakdowns. Okay? Things that you have to come up on the level to be able to understand and to ingest. Okay? Why? Because as the scriptures say, uh, the Heavenly Father would his, send his son, and he would knock at your door, which is your mind. Okay? And Obviously, he would let himself in. Okay, <laughs> we don't we don't let him in. He he lets himself in, if you're of the elect. Okay, and uh, he begins to sup with you. Okay, that word sup is short for what? Supper. And this this uh, word is likened to what? Having a meal or eating a meal. Okay. <clears throat> so it says. Uh, let me see. If so, be ye have tasted that Yahweh Shemuel Shai is gracious. Believe that's it on that. Yeah, that's it on that. You know? So that's the basis of this thing, okay? And that's the, the, the beginning process of becoming an individual. But as a babe, okay, <laughs> you're not an individual. You, you know, you see a baby, okay, all they're doing is sucking on titty milk, um, crying, waking up every two hours, three hours. Eventually, every every hour, then it's two hours, then it's every three hours. Okay, they they haven't developed individuality. Okay, every baby does that, you know, and that's cognizant of how we walk in this ministry. When you first come in, you know, <laughs> you just following suit and you being a mockingbird, which, at the end of the day, okay, is not a bad thing. Okay, especially if you're being a mockingbird to the true teachers of the scriptures. Okay, why? Because you're telling the truth. Whether you're mocking or not, you're telling the truth. Whether you're being a parrot or not, you're telling the truth. But eventually, you have to come into your own. You have to develop who the Lord has created you to be, that individual, okay? That aggregate, uh, <laughs> uh, let's go back to it. I know brothers couldn't, won't remember that word either. <laughs> It says uh, the aggregate of one idiosyncrasies, syncrasies, syncrasies, <laughs> idiosyncrasies. Okay. So yeah, that's what the Lord wants you to be. He wants you to be that set apart, peculiar. Okay. For lack of better words, brick that this keep this temple is being built with. Okay. Because all stones are not alike, you know? They're not. <laughs> the Most High is, is extremely, uh, his way, his works are extreme, out of this world, okay? They're, you can't count how many rocks there are, and there are no, not one alike, okay? And that's how much more the men uh, that, uh, that, are, uh, that he's using to build this temple, okay? This spiritual temple, okay? Let's get uh, Ibar Yath or Hebrews. Uh, 
five. Hebrews five. Yep. Yep, Hebrews 5 and 12. <clears throat> and see, all of these are steps okay, that you have to go through. This is the process. Every one of, every one of us that have uh, come into this ministry went through this process, okay? Being fully persuaded in your own mind, okay? Uh, de uh, uh, desiring the sincere milk, okay? When you first come into this thing, all you want to do is watch videos and hear the prophets, hear the elders, okay? That's all you want to do. Why? Because... You know, Lord willing, you know, we're of the elect, okay, that, that sleeper cell was awo uh, uh, awakened, okay? And this is the only thing that ever made sense to us in the world. And like, it, like Jeremiah said, it was like a fire in his mouth, you know? He wanted to, you know, he had to tell everybody, man. And that's the same process you go through, you know, but you, you really don't know nothing, Okay. And uh, like the elder Pastor Tahar has always said, man, if you've been in this thing six months to a year, you should be teaching. Okay. Now, there's a process, a vetting process of joining the camp. Okay. But you still can put up videos. Okay. You're a servant of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You know, it's just that there's a process of, you know, vetting, which ultimately is proving a friend, as the scriptures say. Okay. Because uh, there are many men who've come out and stood their test of time on the other side. And, crossed over an absolute demon, so it's really up to Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, but nonetheless, there is a process, okay? So, um, yeah, let's read this. Hebrews 5 and 12, it says, for, uh, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach, uh, teach you again, okay? And that is the case with all of us, man. Okay, whether we were, you know, we uh, we grew up in the church, okay, Christian, Catholic, Baptist, whatever it was, okay. There's certain things that you attained, even if you were all into it or you weren't, okay. There's certain dogmas and doctrines, okay, that were taught to us from these, uh, uh, you know, uh, from these different uh, uh, beliefs, okay, or religions. You know, so the reality is, like like I mentioned earlier, with Yahweh Shai told Nicodemus, you have to be born again. Okay, basically you have to cleanse your mind of everything that you've ever been taught. Okay, because the spirituality, and it's not even spirituality, but uh, the way the scriptures were taught to us was uh, completely by deception. Okay, with Esau's uh, cemetery schools. Okay, and uh, basically, uh, intentionally teaching lies about the truth. Why? Because, hey, as we always say, to tell uh, to tell a lie, you have to know the truth. And he knows the truth. He knows who we are. He knows who he is. Okay, and he spent trillions upon trillions upon trillions of dollars, okay, to distort and to hide the reality of the scriptures. Okay, but what he didn't make account was for the most high. Okay, so let's read this. It says, uh, Hebrews 5 and 12, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one, uh, uh, Salakia, that one teach you again, which be the first principles and of the oracles of the Most High, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat, you see? So this is part of the process, okay? Being prepared and, you know, regurgitating what you've heard, which I said, you know, when you're at this stage, great, you know, great thing, okay? Um, but eventually, you know, and that comes, like I, I, I've been mentioning, that's a process, okay? You're gonna catch hell, you're gonna go through it, okay? Your, your hell is gonna be significant to you, okay? And it's gonna be uh, different from his, okay? And as the scriptures say, he's not going to put on you more than you can bear, you know? And we like to say, hey, you know, his hell is particular to him. And the reality is, if his hell was put on you, who knows, you know? And obviously, we think life and we think of positivity, 
Okay, but hey, the Heavenly Father's in control here, and ultimately, He's the one working within us to create us to be individuals. Okay, we just can't kick against the pricks. Okay, you have to come into your own, you have to develop your own mindset. Okay, we got great examples, we got the other apostles and men under them that teaching us the way, showing us the direction. You know, the scriptures speak about that straight gate, that narrow path. Okay, that only one man could traverse at once. Okay, but guess what? There are other men on that path for us to follow. But the same hell he catches, you're not you're not gonna catch that hell. And the hell you catch, he you know, it's it's gonna be significant. It's gonna be distinguished. Why? To make you a distinguished man. Okay, from the next man. Okay, because what that does is magnify um the the unity of the body. Okay, and we're gonna get into it. You know, it magnifies the unity of the body. And you have, uh, ultimately, you know, when it's all said and done, as far as the governing body consists of 144,000 men that are distinguished one from another, but are walking in the same likeness and have one goal. You see, and then being ultimately controlled and obedient uh, to and by Yahweh Bashim Shai. You see, that's a beautiful thing. Instead of having a bunch of uh, uh, robots, I mean, that's, to, to act completely the same, you know. Hey, this is the Heavenly Father's movie. Hey, uh, the word theater comes from Theos. Okay, Theos goes to the word Dios, which means the Heavenly Father. Okay, this is his theater. You know, he ain't gonna put a movie together where he have a whole bunch of men just act exactly the same. No, who would want to watch that movie, right? Okay, uh, verse. Verse 13, for everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. It says, for he is a babe. You see? So it's not a bad thing, you know, that you, you know, <clears throat> hey, hey, like uh, the beloved brother Murph. I in shot town, baby. Uh, Yeremia, you know, Elder Yeremia, man. Hey, one of his pages is teach what was taught. Okay, and you can't go wrong by doing that. You teaching what was taught, you're not teaching lies, you're breaking the scriptures down right, that's enough. Okay? But you're not gonna be as skilled as a, a, a as a uh, elder apostle to hall, elder Yashawamba, or elder Ariala, okay, or a choir, elder acquire quam. Okay, you're not gonna be as skilled as them. Why? Because plainly they've been doing it longer. Okay? And they've come up on a level. You see? But that's not Obviously, we're, thrive, we're striving for the masteries, okay? And we want to be the best servants we can be, the best teachers we can possibly be for the ministry, okay? But ultimately, who's giving the increase? It's your Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, okay? But what we're bringing out is showing you the process that it takes for you to become that individual, to be set apart from the men that you've learned of, okay? And from the men that are a part of your camp. Why? Because the Lord needs that, okay? He needs that. Salakia, he wants that. Okay, it is written, right? Verse fourteen. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who, by reason of use, have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Right? You see. So it's a process. And, and the more you walk in this thing, the more you're faced with afflictions, trials and tribulations, you put in certain situations, okay, where you have to apply what you've learned. Hey, and sometimes you, you get it wrong, you know? Hey, the scriptures say we hardly guess it right. So you, you're going to fall on your ass. A righteous man falls seven times, right? But he gets back up. He doesn't fall into mischief. And that's all a part of the process. And that's what's going to make you that individual that the Heavenly Father wants you to be, right? Okay. Uh, let's get uh, First Corinthians. First Corinthians six. Here we go again. 
Vamos realmente. First Corinthians 6. I kind of want to jump around. Let's see where we start. I think I want to start at 11. Let's see. Start at 15. This 1 Corinthians 6 and 15. It says, Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Hamashiach? Shall I then take the members of Hamashiach and make them the members of an harlot? Most high forbid. Verse 16. What know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot? Is one body uh, for two? Say, if he shall be one flesh. Verse 17, it says, But he that is joined unto the Haobashim Yahushai is one spirit. Verse 18, it says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that uh, committeth fornication sinneth against his own body right verse 19 it says what know ye not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you right which ye have of the most high and ye are not your own you see so and that's great news okay and it's showing you that uh there's a significance with every brother, okay? Because this message is going out, obviously, to uh, the church of Corinth, but it's speaking individually to brothers, okay? This is something that you have to ingest in individually, okay? And add to your walk. Why? To make up that body of Hamashiach, right? And this is why, First Corinthians 6 and 20, for ye are brought, with a price, therefore glorify the Most High in your body and in your in your spirit, which are the Most Highs. You see, so there's there's a building process be, uh, happening here, okay? And you can't build a house with with just uh, uh you know oh I'll, I'll speak on a modern day house, okay? You, here in Florida, we have a lot of cement houses, okay, with cylinder brick houses, okay. You can't just build a house with cylinder bricks, you know, or you can't just build a house with roofing material, you know. That's why the scriptures speak about many members having many offices, right? Okay, and that's the importance of being an individual in this thing, okay. Now, obviously, you can't force the course of the river. You can't just say, you know, I've been in this thing for how much? I'm going to be my own man. No. No. Follow the course. You got to come up on a level before you're ready to ingest meat. Okay? So in, in due time, desire that sincere milk. Okay? Which is which will cause you to grow. We've all went through that process, man. Okay? Those milk, in those milk scriptures, that's why the other apostle Taha always goes into it, man. Going back to that milk. Okay, because, hey, a lot of the, 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 the listeners, okay, uh, are, new, are new brothers, okay, are young brothers coming into the faith, okay, and they need that milk. How are they going to get it, okay? They don't understand it. I didn't understand it. I had to be taught, okay? Like we read in uh, uh, Hebrews, you have need that another shall teach you again, right? There's a process of becoming an 
and the, all, like I said, all of this is a process of becoming an individual in this ministry, which is required. Okay, and why not? Why wouldn't you want to be your own self? Now, obviously, there's a fine line. Okay, this ain't about you. You know, you're not special. <laughs> okay, the Lord does not need you. Scriptures say he can raise up stones and they will worship him. Okay? So he does not need you. But the reality is he wants you. Okay? If he called you into this thing, it's not of yourself. As we just read here, it says you were bought with a price. And you have to... That has to... Uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically, that has to marinate in your mind. You have to meditate upon that, man. Okay, and understand that, that that great gift that you've received. Okay, out of all these people in the world, the Heavenly Father called you. Okay, why? Because He He chose you from the foundation of the earth, Lord willing. You can we continue, you know, and He wants you to be that peculiar individual that helps make up the body of Hamashiach, which is that third temple, right? So yeah, let's get one more. We'll close out. This is second Timothy. And two. I started to talk. This is second Timothy two and one. It says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong. And the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, right? And like I was just mentioning, you know, understanding that and, and seeing that this is no coincidence. This is not something that you willed yourself into. You know, there was a calling, like I mentioned earlier, that it speaks on the book of the Re uh, book in the book of Revelations, where the Heavenly Father would send His Son to knock at your door and he open up and he'll come in and sup with you. All of this was the doing of the Heavenly Father. Okay. So here, it is written to be strong in that grace, okay? Because if it hadn't been for the remnant, as the scriptures say, we would have been as Sodom and Egypt, okay? Ultimately destroyed as a people, okay? But for the promises that he made with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? And that's all the reasons to be strong in the grace that the Heavenly Father has poured upon his people, right? This is uh, for, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. And it says, And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Verse 3, here's the point. It says, It's like it says, uh, verse 3, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay? Now, the reason I brought this scripture out, we're going to close on this one, is because the key point, the key word, soldier, right? So, uh, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory when you go into... Uh, the blue letter and look at the word, you know, basically a soldier, a paid, you know, servant, okay, uh, of war, right? Okay, but well let's, I dug a little deeper. Uh, let's see what we'll do with that. Okay, we'll do it here. I dug a little deeper, not three deep now. You know what I'm saying? Not too deep. Dug a little bit deeper, right? Just to prove this point, okay, uh, what is the root word of soldier? Okay, as you can see here, so now you bear with me. It says uh, etymology. The word soldier derives from the Middle English word soldier from Old French soldier or soldier, meaning 
mercenary from so uh so D, meaning shillings worth or wage from so or so uh, shilling the word is also related to the medieval Latin soldarius meaning soldier literally one having let me see yep one having pay okay and the key point there one okay and that's ultimately what a soldier is okay and that's what makes up an army okay that soldier okay the key word of so uh, the, the root word of soldier goes back to one you see and that's what the heavenly father wants us to be it says endure hardness as a good soldier you see okay so it, uh, eventually you're gonna have to develop your characteristic and your traits okay all the men in the uh, uh, infantry or platoon are not snipers okay <laughs> you got different uh, uh, titles okay and, and same thing in his ministry okay like the scriptures going to uh, you know some apostles you know uh, some teachers and then the beauty in these last times okay now brothers may uh, you know be more versed in one area or, or another Okay, but the, 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 here at the end, the heavenly, like the scriptures say, he has sent forth the apostles last. Okay, but if you look at the apostles today, okay, and really, like the apostle Tara always says, it, it just means sent forth. And we've all been sent forth to do what? To teach the gospel. Okay, and we're all teachers. Okay, we're all apostles. You know, and we possess all those traits that the heavenly father said that this ministry will be built upon. Okay? But some of us have better qualities in certain areas. Some brothers are good with exhortation. Some brothers are good with the prophecies. You know, but we all do all of those things. Okay, to do what? To magnify the ministry, right? Okay, but it all is boils around and based. It's based around you being an individual. Okay, and you being the person Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah wants you to be. Okay, to be a contribution to the ministry. Okay, so um, I believe I hit the point, and Lord willing, this was at a fine. I hope I wasn't all over the place. And uh, so with that, I say, Kwam Yashua and the Baba Ball, Shalom.